My name is Tracy Silverthorne. I have been a volunteer with the St. John Ambulance Program for over 10 years now. Igor has been doing this for six years and we thoroughly enjoy what we do. Some people have asked me, how do you do this? I ask them, how do I not do this? If my dog is the last person or being that these people see before they leave and they were animal lovers, I hope somebody does this for me when I get to that stage. Each individual person he reacts differently with because some of them want him to be more animated on the bed. Some of them he knows that they're a very calm soul and he will just lie down and relax with them completely. In fact, he's ended up snoring on a few people's beds because that's what they want him to do. They've got that calm individuality about them, so he just is calm. Nine times out of 10, the people that we visit here at hospice are not the patients. We're here pretty much for the support people, the families. I think he makes a good distraction for people. It just lightens the mood for even if it's 15, 20 minutes. It takes their mind off of other things. The young man was, was in, in very late stages of his life. And um, we went in with Igor and I had my cell phone on me at the time and I told him about the Instagram and the Facebook. Then I got my videos out of the dog riding on the Harley with us. And I showed this young man this while I kept an eye on his family. And I caught them and I, the look on their faces was, oh my God, she's given him normalcy. He's a normal 23 year old hanging out, looking at videos, even if it's only for 15 minutes. That's what we do it for. It's just to give an escape for however long that they want to visit with the dog and just get to be normal. I wouldn't be without volunteering. It's really, really rewarding, not only for the dogs, but for the people.